the collapse of a four-story building located at Jumai Kwanashi Street, Gwarimpa Housing Estate, Abuja, on Monday, August 29, came to many as shocking. While the rescue operation was on, the FCTA officials dropped the blames at the doorstep of the Federal Housing Authority, FHA, who supervised the building. The FHA management on their part also struggled to put up a defense. Unfortunately, we are having a running battle with um, FHA. FHA is given a plot by FCDA. Under normal circumstances and statutorily, they should come back to development control with their drawings. We gave them several stop work order, contravention orders. We gave them. But speaking one week after the disaster, the FCT minister, Malam Mohamed Musa Bello, lamented that in a time like this, a building plan could be approved by the FHA to construct a four-story building on a grid area and waterways. He expressed his appointment that despite noticeable defaults in the building, the authorities of the FHA allowed work to go on until it came down on laborers. He therefore revoked the powers given to the FHA to receive, vet and approve building plans in his numerous estates in the FCT. He directed officials of the Department of Development Control to move into all FHA building and sites and supervise them. He however noted that the door is not closed, saying FCTA officials will still sit with their FHA colleagues to look at the issue. The process of certifying and approving any structure and building is already well documented. I do know occasionally you you find agencies of government maybe sometime operate at cross purposes. But when incidents as unfortunate as this occur, it is then an opportunity for authorities to look at all this more critically and see that institutions are strengthened and also areas where there are conflicts in terms of who does what or areas where the dividing line between various agencies is blurred or is, is fine and subject to various interpretations. Then you, you sit down and, and, uh, and look at them and make sure that everything is clearly specified and stated so that every agency would be held, held accountable. The minister also pledged to strengthen FCT departments involved in the building sector to ensure the guide against future occurrence of building collapse. Ikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.